Remembering a NASA pioneer, how Artemis Generation astronauts train, and a critical safety test for Orion. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. Legendary NASA mathematician Katherine Johnson passed away February 24th. Johnson worked among the group of women depicted in the book and movie Hidden Figures who performed critical calculations for some of our earliest and most historic spaceflights. Johnson was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2015. Katherine Johnson was 101 years old. On February 25th, astronauts Anne McLean and Zena Cardman suited up for a practice spacewalk to help showcase some of the training in store for our next class of Artemis Generation astronauts. The new astronauts will also work with mock-ups of hardware and spacecraft like the International Space Station and the Orion spacecraft that will carry astronauts to the moon. NASA will accept applications for its next astronaut class March 2nd to 31st. Also on February 25th, engineers at Northrop Grumman's facility in Elkton, Maryland successfully conducted the third and final test of the attitude control motor that provides steering for the Orion spacecraft's launch abort system. The test qualifies the motor for Artemis II, Orion's first mission with astronauts. We are holding a public challenge seeking design ideas for a sensor to help a possible future rover maneuver safely on the fiery surface of Venus. Submissions will be accepted through May 29, 2020, and the winning sensor design will be incorporated into the rover concept. You can find out more at go.nasa.gov slash Venus Rover. On February 25th, our Langley Research Center hosted a preview of a new NASA Airborne Science Campaign designed to help improve weather and climate predictions. The ACTIVATE mission will collect extensive data on cloud processes over the western North Atlantic Ocean with flights through the end of March. It is the second of five new major NASA Airborne Science studies expected to fly this year. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov slash twan.